In my opinion, this is the best way to experience the free tier of Spotify on your desktop. A lot of people saw my Spotify TUI and Spotify D video and they wanted more of a deep dive and how to install those and configure those. And I thought about making a video of that, but then um, someone actually did a much better job than I could even plan to have doing. And I'm going to uh, link that down below. Today, we're going to take the Spotify journey a slightly different direction. And I'm going to show you, um, I don't want to call it, I don't want to call it a hack. I don't want to call it a tutorial. It's just a built-in function that a lot of people may not know about for applications like Spotify. And I'm talking about the progressive web applications and why it could be beneficial to set these up. Step one, why it's beneficial to set up a progressive web app instead of installing the proprietary application. And that is the progressive web app, if you're using a browser like Brave, which I'm gonna use in my tutorial, allows to install privacy focused plugins that you normally can't get in the generic Spotify application. I'm talking about uBlock Origin and uMatrix and a few other very privacy friendly applications that you can run in your progressive web app. Now this can be done many, many ways, but I like using Brave. This is nothing new. This is a progressive web app. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to play.spotify.com now, this will work on your free account or on your paid account. And the nice thing about using it with Brave is Brave allows you to install programs like uBlock Origin and other privacy-centric applications. The trick here is this little plus right here. It says install Spotify. Now, what this is going to do is going to convert this web page of open.spotify.com to a progressive web app. Boom. I'm gonna close the browser. And if you look here and here in the dock, boom, Spotify has been added to my favorites. I can close it, it's still there. I can launch it. It launches exactly like the Spotify application normally would. And you click on an audio file and it'll play just like you expect it to. It's a native web app, but it's using all your privacy tools like uBlock Origin to give you a very safe and clean experience. And if you ever want to uninstall it, you can just uninstall Spotify. Again, I will have the guide of how to install Spotify TUI and Spotify D, a much better tutorial than I could have even fathomed making by a gentleman by the name of a gentleman by the name of Brody Robertson did a great job. Again, that link will be down below. I've also recently joined Library. I'm just doing the version where I post a video on YouTube and then it automatically synchronizes with Library. I know they're, they have a questionable uh, status library, but I'm gonna give them a shot. And plus it requires no work on my half, so you know why I'm in. Anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next one.